Researchers in Louisiana have made a discovery that could one day treat two problems common, common in aging, losing muscle but gaining fat. Well, this groundbreaking research is just out today in a medical journal, and tonight the lead scientist tells Meg Ferris how it works. As we age, we lose muscle mass, and that natural decline begins early on, around the late 30s. So it's very much a use it or lose it muscle. So um, one of the natural instincts that we fight more often than not is just the desire to do less. Muscle loss takes away independence and causes health problems as we age, evident especially now as we're living longer. Because that muscle mass is going to be the, one of the largest predictors of the quality of your life and maybe the length of your life. And obesity in older age accelerates muscle loss. Now, you can slow the natural process of losing muscle with exercise and quality protein in your diet, but now researchers at LSU Pennington Biomedical Research Center in Baton Rouge have discovered a chemical compound that helped elderly obese mice lose weight, add muscle and strength, reduce inflammation, and increase physical activity. Instead of affecting how much food you're eating, you're affecting how much food you're breaking down to use to make energy. It dramatically, and I mean dramatically, decreases body weight, right? Wow, because that excess fuel normally would be stored as fat. Correct, that is exactly correct. The study is published in the journal Cachexia Sarcopenia and Muscle. It's the first evidence that the compound BAM-15 works inside the cell's energy production center to prevent muscle loss and fat increase as we age. This is different from dieting by reducing calories, which causes weight loss of fat and muscle. We know that it treats obesity. We know that it can promote healthy aging. It can um, treat certain forms of cancer. But years of research is still needed and is ongoing now to see if this works in people and to design the compound and dose that is safe. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.